fashion brands approved by the royal family. There are some celebs that can't seem to stop promoting their own products, but if you're looking for a more distinguished sense of style, look no further. We'll tell you about some brands approved by the royal family. First, be sure to hit subscribe for the latest from the taco. Now let's get started. Everlane. Before we break your heart with pricier products, let's take a look at some of the more affordable pieces that Meghan Markle loves to wear. Investing in a cashmere sweater is a great way to look fantastic and feel luxurious. Meghan Markle has been spotted in a chic cashmere sweater by Everlane that's available for $100. It seems that even Prince Harry is a fan since he spotted a similar sweater by the same brand. By combining the sweater with jeans or a button-up, you're able to dress it up or down depending on the occasion. If you thought cashmere was only for those with a royal budget, think again. Alexander McQueen If you need something a bit more fancy, how about the brand that created Kate Middleton's stunning wedding dress? Kate loves outfits from Sarah Burton designing for Alexander McQueen. Being chosen to create a wedding gown fit for a duchess is one of the highest endorsements you can get. The silhouettes are elegant enough for a royal, but feature lots of fun details and patterns to keep things interesting. This is where Kate gets so many of her affordable dresses and sharp-looking, perfectly coordinated jackets. We won't lie, these incredible designs come with a hefty price tag, but that's the price you pay to look like a royal. The Queen's Accessories Maybe you have plenty of wardrobe staples, but you want to jazz up your accessories in the style of Queen Elizabeth. Those fabulous hats she always sported are created by famous hat maker Rachel Trevor Morgan. She's also created hats for the likes of Elizabeth Taylor, Joan Collins, and Princess Diana. Her Majesty needs comfortable, stylish, and sensible shoes. She used to patronize a company called Rain, which went out of business. So she tracked down a former employee who now works with Anello and David, and now that's where she gets her shoes. She has a lot of coats, but her favorite is a barber jacket which she's had for over 25 years. Kids Clothing Maybe you have some little ones in your life that you'd like to dress like Prince George and Princess Charlotte. On her second birthday, we saw a picture of little Charlotte wearing a cardigan from Fair Ill, which then sold out within minutes. Her brother is frequently seen in clothes by Rachel Riley, which featured retro-inspired designs for children. While your kids are watching Peppa Pig, the royal children are rocking adorable clothes from Spanish children's wear label Peppa and Co. When Princess Charlotte was a baby, we spotted her covered in G.H. Hurt and Sun Shawl. Within minutes, over 100,000 people visited the website trying to get their own. Rain Gear Want to look fabulous no matter the weather? Queen Elizabeth uses umbrellas from Fulton. They allow her to be seen by her adoring public, and she's able to match them to her outfit. Members of the royal family wouldn't dare be caught in the rain without a Burberry jacket. Burberry has been keeping royals dry since 1919, and of course you'll need a good pair of rain boots. The royal family swears by boots made by Hunter. For some nice warm socks, grab some from Corgi Hosiery Ltd. It's where the queen shops, although we aren't sure if she actually likes the products or is just a fan of the name. Aritzia What do Meghan Markle and Malia Obama have in common? They both can't get enough of clothes from Aritzia. Aritzia offers a wide range of casual and chic clothes guaranteed not to break the bank. However, you'll want to bookmark their website. It seems like every time Meghan Markle is spotted wearing something from Aritzia, the items sell out almost immediately. Many of Meghan's classic blazers and sweaters are made by Aritzia. Even some of her show-stopping dresses are the product of their design team. And it's not just their clothing she's obsessed with. She's also a fan of their accessories, including this classic skinny belt. Shoes While the queen sticks to her black shoes, Kate Middleton prefers more variety. She knows that to pull off a gorgeous Alexander McQueen dress, you need a stunning pair of heels. Here we see her wearing a pair of suede heels by Stuart Weitzman. She's also a fan of the famous Jimmy Choo brand. She even wore them the first time we saw her holding Princess Charlotte. When she's not wearing heels, Kate loves a nice pair of boots, especially by the brand Aquitalia. The knee-high, rumba style seems to be her favorite, and we've spotted her wearing them many times. Trendsetters It might surprise you to know that some of the most well-known brands got their fame by being worn by the royal family. Before Christian Dior became a household name, it was the obsession of Princess Margaret back in 1947. After her contentious divorce, Princess Diana decided to shake up her style and began wearing clothes by Greek designer Christina Stambolian, bringing global attention to the brand. 
when Kate Middleton announced her engagement in 2010, she wore a gorgeous blue dress by Issa London. It was an overnight success, and the dress immediately sold out in 43 different countries. And as a bonus, it also matched her engagement ring from the late Princess Diana. Coats we know that Meghan Markle likes to vacation in the sun, so maybe that's why we always see her wearing heavy coats when it's chilly out. When she took a trip to Cardiff Castle, she wore a coat by Stella McCartney that retails at about $1,940. Then there's her Smith Brando coats. She loved the style so much that she bought the same coat in two different colors for $795 a piece. Meghan Markle isn't afraid of a long jacket like this mid-calf coat she wore to announce her engagement. It's from Canadian label Mackage, and apparently it was so popular it's already sold out. Henry Poole & Co. Only companies that are the most beloved by the royal family are honored by receiving a royal warrant. That means that they are allowed to use the royal seal and advertise that they supply goods to the royal family. One esteemed brand is Henry Poole & Co., which not only received a royal warrant from Queen Elizabeth II in 1952, but holds over 40 warrants overall. It's where all the men in the royal family get their suits, which start at around $4,900. That seems expensive, but you pay for quality, since it takes about three months to make each one. Which royal family approved brand are you most interested in? Be sure to let us know in the comment section. Then click the subscribe button to get more from the taco. We'll see you next time.